So I do a, I do a number of keynote speeches, and I can tell you if I had if I didn't have to look at, they always give you a, a stage prompter that's about 500 yards back, and it's usually a big screen, and you got this little thing in your pocket, and you're doing this. Yeah. And what it is kind of prompts you to go to the next thing, like whatever the next thing is. Sure. Um, but if you had it in your glasses, oh baby, or if you're speed dating, hi, Mary. <laughs> I mean, like honestly, it's I I believe that our life would change if you had prompts, just bullet points. Almost as part of it, I just ate something on, on the break. But if you had bullet points, <laughs> all right. What TV show? Oh, I'll, hold on, I'll get a phone call. Right. Hang on, I got to make right. a phone call here. Right. If, if if you had prompts, do you think that you would react better to things like? Uh, road rage, or things like you'd suffer uh, people that walked to the front of the Starbucks line and said, um, who should all be in jail? Uh, would, you, would you react better to everyday life if you had, like, stay calm, stay, I, I'm, not, I, 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 I'm just talking about sure. every day. Well, I am such a believer in these, in these wearables. Paul Travers, of course, CEO, president of Usix, uh, Soxable VUZI. Uh, they are not in the business of uh, teaching you to calm down at Starbucks. They're in the business of <laughs> use, using these glasses uh, in a business space, uh, in an AR space. But he joins us once again. Paul, good to see you, man. How are you? I'm good, Sully. And oh, you? Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, oh, cool. hey. Hey, Kenny Rogers, sure. uh, when's your next show? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, are a, I get you get handsomer every time. Can I ask you something? When you guys put uh, the technology in these things, do you put as much time into the design? Because I look at Greg's glasses. And you know, I like nice. the cut of his jib, Mister. I mean, you're not just putting. Oh, good, don't they? They're not just glasses. Very you, got, good. you got a good design team as well. Yes, we do. They're, they're uh, top notch. They've been doing this for years. In fact, they've some of these guys have come out of the industrial design group to some of the larger firms that we all know and love. The brands like you know the Luxottica brands and the types. Hey, catch us up on what's happening recently because obviously there's a huge addressable market here. You guys are continuing the technology and you're starting to take uh, take some of the market share. What's happening? Yeah, well, uh, we announced maybe in CES a year ago, these the pair, this pair here, the ones that uh, look exactly like a pair of sunglasses. Yeah. These, these do that prompt thing, Sully, just like you were talking about. Not just that, they tie into AI. So you can ask, you can get information along the way, you can cross-check to see if somebody's telling the facts and the truth or not. All that sort of stuff is just wow. available. Can you ask it Wait a second. A song? It's got a built-in BS detector. That's fantastic. I'm, <laughs> that, I'm, so listen, and look, I look at these things from media standpoint. You don't need a teleprompter anymore. If you had clear glasses, you right. could use that. Right. But you have medical indications. You've got uh, uh, warehouse indications where it basically will, you look at a, a, a box in a, in, a, in a Costco. It'll tell you how many pit boxes you have, how much is in that box, and it helps you track inventory. I mean, the, the, the uses are endless on this thing. Yes, it's 100% correct. But where it really gets exciting is when you look at the broader markets. And the broader markets won't wear a pair of glasses like the ones you're seeing here. They're designed to go to work, frontline workers, healthcare, you know, those kinds of places. These glasses here that I was wearing just a moment ago, they have these things called waveguides in them. So when you put them on, even though there's no visible display, what you see is like the fighter pilot's cockpit floating out in front of you, all of that information. And it disappears in the glasses because of these things called waveguides. The broader markets, it's going to start the size of smartwatch. That's 300 million smartwatches a year that are sold today. For Buzix, that represents significant business. It's $40 a waveguide, and you need a pair of them for a pair of glasses. Um, we have a partnership that we just announced maybe a month plus ago with a firm called Quanta. They're a $50 billion ODM supplier, probably one of the largest on the planet today. And what that means is they manufacture the devices that other brands put their name on. For instance, the smartwatch from Apple, uh, Quanta develops and, and help manufacture that for Apple. Hey, Paul, they, when you release that, I think we talked to you either the next day or the same day. And, and what my question is now is, are, we, are you starting to see the fruits of that, of that uh, relationship or is that down the road a bit? Or, or is it, it the final consumer electronics show should be a lot of fun. <laughs> We're in development of a bunch of cool new stuff with them right now. And it's opened up a lot of other doors. I'm, I've been living on the West Coast talking with companies. My development team has been working on next generation products around our waveguides and the quanta relationship to help enable a lot of different products that 2025 should see the beginnings of the rollouts. And it's the beginnings of this whole, how do you get to millions of uh, 
glasses on an annual basis. Paul Travers, the CEO, president of Vuzix, their ticker symbol V-U-Z-I. Paul, you said a couple minutes ago the word cockpit. Has Uncle Sam reached out to you about military applications for these? Because I can only see there's about a billion of them when you're talking yeah, we, about uh, people in combat, that type of thing. Yes, in, uh, in cockpits, inside of tanks. There's all kinds of places where these the glasses and or the waveguide technology that we build is very applicable to defense. And there's uh, three or four companies that we have active programs going on in the defense space right now. Hey, Paul, you know, when, when we had the glasses on, we were testing it when you were in the studio, there, there was a medical thing where we could look at the patient and tell you their blood pressure and their heart rate and so on and so forth. Is that intended for surgical suites? What, what, what is the intended use and, and how vast is that information where you can customize that on the glasses? Yeah, I mean, the pair to my left right or to my right, right here. Uh, these guys are used right now in that very same kind of condition that there's Bluetooth connectivity, there's wired connectivities. You can stream out of the glasses, broadcast quality video. So you can be doing an open heart surgery and share with others how to do that open heart surgery. And from a training perspective, if you're, if you're, uh, not an expert on a particular oper operation. While you're doing the operation, a doctor sitting in a nice air-conditioned office halfway around the world can log in, see what you're seeing, and help you and support you in that operation. See, I, so. I think these are a crutch. Like I told you in the beginning, it, is, it tells me the girl's name or it tells me what I'm supposed to talk about next. What do you think the vertical yeah. is that's going to take is going to come out front at the end of the day? Is it gonna be, you think it'll be medical? You think it'll be consumer? Uh, the broad markets are going to be massive. When you combine this with artificial intelligence, the kinds of things that you'll be able to do are game changing. Think about mapping services alone. When's the last time you picked up a paper map? It just doesn't happen today. People pick up their phone, they look down at their phone, and they look at the map to figure out where they're going. Right. With these, with these glasses on, that information just appears on the road in front of you, like it's built in. You, you ask the glasses, where's the French restaurant? And you no longer got your phone in your face. You literally yeah. have this information overlaid in the real world. You won't use your phone again, just like you don't pick up a paper map. Yeah. Wow. So, Paul, what's next for the, let, let's say, upcoming 18 months? Yet there's going to be a lot of stuff that revolve around our relationships with ODMs and OEMs and white label partners. Uh, you know, we, we put out a press release with a company called Garmin. There should be more developments on that front at the same time. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. Actually, even the next six months, there should be a lot of really cool things and catalysts that happen at Vuzix that will more and more come to light. We got to get you back in the studio, Paul. And oh thank God. you so much. And once again, I got to tell you. Can you imagine walking around with some cool shades like that, and all of a sudden he goes, oh, oh, hi, Sully. I knew you were there the whole yep. time, as you get the whole background to somebody. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, and the, and the number of times you forget who, who it is. Yes. And it's even the embarrassing. I'm that, for lyrics. Like, or like identifying oh, songs. Yeah, yeah. This will be, this will be, uh, I want to see him on the football field for a head coach or coaches, instead yeah. of having to go to the pad, it's just like,